Hello friends, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to recover, actually delete or reset your password on your Windows machine. And the way we're going to do this is by using a boot disk. Alright, so I know this works on Windows XP and 7, but I don't know if it works on Windows 8. So if you have a Windows 8 machine, go ahead and try it and let us know if it worked for you on the comment section of the video below. Alright, so the website to download the software is right here, pogostick.net. Um, it's a pretty big uh, URL here. I will post this link on the description of the video below. All right, so you can get to it. But once you're on this web page, go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom here. And here are the downloads. And here you can go ahead and choose uh, to download a bootable CD, or you can go or or uh, bootable USB. I recommend using a CD image because it's a lot easier. All right, but if you want to use a USB bootable, you can also do it by downloading this one here. All right, so go ahead and download the CD image. And once you download it, you're going to notice it's an ISO file. So then you, you're going to need an ISO burner to uh, burn it to a disk. And let's go ahead and restart the computer and start up from the disk. So here it is, burnt to a disk. Windows password resetter, and it is Linux based. And just to let you know, this is going to be command prompt. So uh, uh, stick with me, take a deep breath. This is not going to be that easy, I can tell you right now. But it will be worth it once you um, get your password reset or deleted. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, put the disk. Put the, go ahead and put the disk on your computer and restart the computer. We're going to go ahead and boot from the disk. All right, so the computer is restarting with the disk in there, and it's going to boot from CD, as you can tell there. And make sure your BIOS settings are set to boot from CD, all right, so that it can boot from the disk correctly. And here it is. Here's the program, Windows Reset and Password Registry Editor Boot CD. And just go ahead and hit Enter on your keyboard. It'll start up the program. All right, so you're going to get a menu here, and you want to select selection D. So type in D, and then hit Enter. If something pops up, go ahead and hit D again. It does that a lot. Hit Enter. D, Enter. There we go. All right, it's going to give you some. It's going to tell you what drives are on the computer right now, and. You can tell this one is the hard drive because it has the most data. All right, just follow the one that has the most data. That's selection number two. So go ahead and type in two and then hit enter. Then it's going to give you, it's going to load it. Hit enter if you get this message here. What is the path to the registry? Just hit enter on that. And you're going to get a list here now. Password reset, SAM system security. That's selection number one. That's what we want. Select number one, hit enter. You're going to get another menu down here. Edit user data and passwords. That's what we want to do. We're going to reset the password. Select one, hit enter. All right, it's going to give you a list of all the user accounts that exist on your computer. The one we want to go ahead and reset in my case is the Unabomber account. That's my account, Unabomber. So go ahead and type in your account name. So I'm going to go ahead and type in Uno Bomber. Hit enter. Okay, you're going to get another menu down here. And the first one is clear blank user password. That's what we want to do. So type in one, hit enter. And there it is, password cleared. All right. And it's not cleared yet. Even though it says password cleared, it's not cleared yet. So don't turn off your computer now, all right? Don't do that because it won't work. So what we got to do is we got to exit and actually save the changes. So if you notice here, it says select exclamation point to quit. So go ahead and hit shift one to type in exclamation point. There's our exclamation point, hit enter. Let's do it one more time because sometimes you got to do it more than once. All right, and here we are. Go ahead and select Q to quit. From the menu it says Q is quit. 
hit enter. All right, last step here. About to write files back. Do it, say no. Okay, we don't want to revert changes. We want to keep the changes, which was to reset the password. Type in N and hit enter. Edit complete. So now the password is reset. All right. Now it's going to ask you, you can try again if some something failed or you or you selected wrong. New run? No. Nope. We don't want to do another run. We're done. So type in N, hit enter. All right. And that's pretty much it, I believe. And let's go ahead and type in exit. Let's see what that does. Okay, quit. We're pretty much done by now, but I just want to make sure that um, that we got everything right. So yeah, it says edit complete. We should be safe right now to restart the computer. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's restart the computer. And hold down the power button. And let's restart. And there should not be a password now for the user account. Restarting, make sure you eject the disk. You don't want it to boot from CD again. Eject the disk. Very important. Or else it's going to boot up again. So now it's going to go straight to the hard drive. Starting Windows. And there should not be a password anymore on the user account. Just cross your fingers. All right, it's loading up. The password should be reset and it should go straight to the account. Awesome, it worked. All right, so it cleared the password and now there's no password so that's how you do it I know it's a long process with the with the text on the black screen with the command lines but uh, this is the end result if you follow my instructions that I showed you thanks for watching hopefully it works for you if it doesn't go ahead and comment on the comment section of this video and I'll help you out thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and have a good rest of your day